I'm gonna do a painting today with a Lazy Susan. Basically what you wanna do with this is just securely tape it to, tape it to the Lazy Susan. Got a little bit of paint on there. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is put, just put a bunch of individual lines uh, this way on the canvas, and then I'm gonna take, you can take like a popsicle stick or whatever you want, but um, something a little bit thinner like this, and then you're gonna drag it through. I'll, I'll show you. I'm gonna go, I'll start with pink. And I'm gonna use a couple different, I'm gonna use a couple different paints, but they both like dry really well, so it's okay to use them together. And then you wanna take it and go like this. And then next up is blue. The easiest way is to kind of start a little bit before the canvas and then bring it across a line like that. Just like that. Black paint, and I'll go back to the pink. <clears throat> go back to the blue. All right, just like that. I probably should have used a little bit more paint on this side. Um, it, it should still, it'll still spin and I think look fine though. Pop some of these bubbles on here. There's a lot of air bubbles in there because I shook up the, shook up the paint bottles before, which you're not really supposed to do, but Sometimes I'm too lazy to wait for it. For this part, you wanna get like a little paper towel or something to be able to wipe wipe this off. And there's a lot of ways that you can do this. You can go this direction and then come around and come back and go this direction, back and forth, and that gives it more of a symmetrical look. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that one today, but let me show you what I, show you what I mean by doing this. So you wanna drag Drag this through up here. And then wipe it off. And then drag it through. You can do as much distance as you want in between them, but I think it looks better if you do like about a half inch or so. So like that. And then just going back the other way. I think this is probably the easiest way for a beginner to make a painting um, that actually looks uh, good, maybe. <laughs> um, so now pretty much with the Lazy Susan, I hope that I taped it on there well enough, but it might spin off, but basically you just let it, let it spin. And if you want it to stretch out, you know, as much as possible, you spin it spin it harder if you kind of just want to barely get it moving and get it to kind of fall off the edges just a little bit then just don't spin it as hard pop a couple more air bubbles and then basically just take the lazy susan oh almost lost it Cool, got some paint on me, oh well. This is what the final product looks like. I really like this area in the center, it looks cool. And it's really cool too to use like multiple colors, like when you use 10 different colors, it kind of makes 
it makes it look even better. This is what a different one looks like with more colors. It's pretty cool. Just wanted to show the simple process of doing it with just four colors. And this little area right here should eventually get covered and filled in. But the, uh, the, the stuff that spins off of it looks honestly even cooler than the, than the painting itself. It's like a really interesting looking pattern. I hope you like this little tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Thank you guys.